Hey guys, what is up? Ikona here. Welcome to another Mobile Royale video. And today, in this video, I'm gonna talk about the War Airship. Hey guys, so last March 13, 2019, Mobile Royale added a new feature in the game which includes the War Airship. The War Airship is a guild facility used for battle wherein guild members can start alliance army. Guilds with more than 50 members and a total might of at least 15 million will automatically be able to deploy a War Airship. The War Airship can either take up or land. When it is airborne, it is invulnerable and cannot be attacked. But if it's on land, other players can attack it. Also, when War Airship is on land, it will display the Assault in Alliance option so you can deploy airship armies to attack certain targets. Please note that when you switch the airship modes, that is take up or land, there will be a 15 minutes cooldown before you can switch mode again. So for example, you landed the airship, you will need to wait for 15 minutes before you can take up the airship again. Only the authorized members can switch airship modes and order the troops within to attack. If you want to try the airship features, you should ask your guild leader to give you authority or power to control the war airship. The war airship cannot be deployed to Bloodstone location as well. The first player or member of the guild to place troops inside the airship will become the alliance leader. During the battle, the buffs and the army limits will base on the alliance leader. Also, the current alliance leader can appoint any member who has joined the alliance and whose troops have arrived at the airship as the new alliance leader by clicking this button. The authorized members and the alliance leader can disband the alliance at any time or send back an army that has taken part in the alliance. Also, only the authorized guild members can order the alliance army to attack and once the target has been selected, such as castles, forts or capital, the alliance army will set up the attack 5 minutes later. If you wish to change the target, the alliance has to be disbanded. Also, if the alliance army is already marching towards the target and you disband the alliance, the troops will return to their individual castles. The same will happen if the alliance reach and hit the target. If you will launch an assault on a specific location, you will need assault scroll to do so. You can buy the assault scroll in the upper page. Crystal Mall or in Guild Shop. Also, the location where you can send your castle and do the assault is only limited to a certain square area. As you can see, there is a green color square that show up after clicking the assault button. The color green square indicates the area or perimeter allowed where you can send your castle and do the assault. If you try to select an area or a spot beyond the perimeter or allowed area, a color red square will show up which means you are not allowed to use the assault function on that area. Once you decided on which spot you want to do the assault, you can then click the check button then your castle will be relocated on that spot you selected. You will see that there is a camp or tent leave behind on your original spot, so no other player can relocate on that spot. After 30 minutes countdown, your castle will go back automatically from its original location.
When the airship is on land, the airship can be attacked by other players including the alliance attacks. If the airship is attacked, the troops within the airship will be deployed in battle and the durability of airship will go down. The durability of airship will recover at a rate of 1 point every 30 seconds. The max durability is 2000 and each defeat will cost 20 durability. When durability reaches zero, the airship will be destroyed and will need a certain amount of repair time before it can be used again. So that is the basics of War Airship. If you have other information about the War Airship, please comment it down below in the comment section. This way we can help everyone in the Mobile Royal community to better understand this new feature. So that's it for now guys, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel as well. Thank you so much for watching, bye bye!